In this video we're going to be looking at geometric proofs, um, trying to prove something, trying to prove something's correct or incorrect, depending on what they ask. And doing proofs is kind of like um, making up a story to, to tell you, to like prove that something's correct, basically. And there's not really a formulaic way to do it. You have to think your way through the problem, and the proof is the evidence of your thinking, basically. So I'll give you some hints on things you can look for, or things you can try to do but it's going to take just experience, trying some problems, and actually getting on with it. So, one of the first hints that I can give you is that for a proof, you never want to start with what you're trying to prove. So if they tell you that x is equal to y, prove it. Don't start with x is equal to y, I'm done. You need to start with something else and put what they want you to prove at the end of the problem. So you want to start with something else you know from the diagram, finish with what you have to prove, and the part in between is finding the story that connects the two things, finding those missing, missing steps that puts the start to the finish together. A um, couple of things you want to be aware of is you want to give clear reasons for everything. Those are mostly your angle rules and geometry rules. You need to clearly label angles or lines that you use or talk about, so make sure you label them clearly on the diagram if they're not already labeled. Uh, find something in common. So if I'm trying to prove the right side of the equation to the left side of the equation, is there something that I can write them both or that they both share in common. Some way I can relate them to a common thing. And one, another way to think about that sometimes is two ways to write the same thing or two ways to say the same thing. Um, and you'll see how that works out in this first example. So, they're asking me in this particular uh, proof, show that the exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior remote angles. And this is a geometric rule. They're saying the exterior angle, angle DCB, trace it out with your finger, DCB, D, C, B is equal to C, A, B and C, B, A, these two angles down here. So they're trying to get me to say the angle D, C, B is equal to this plus this. Okay. Um, so I don't want to start there, but I need to start somewhere else and start with something I know. So I might think about, well, what do I know about angle DCB? Is there anything that I can write there, anything that I can kind of write down using the rules that I know? And if I look at angle DCB, if I kind of cover up the bottom part of the diagram, this is angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So I might try to use that information. First thing I want to do is label the angle that I don't have labeled already here. That's this one in here. That's angle A. C, B. So angle A, C, B. So angles on a straight line tells me that this angle plus this one should equal 180. So I might write it out like so and say that angle A, C, B is equal to 180 degrees minus angle D, C, B. So all up they add up to 180 so I can find out this unknown angle as 180 minus the one I know. And the reason I'm choosing to do that is because I notice that this unknown angle, the red one, it's angles on a straight line to the one that I've been given, but it's also part of the same triangle for the other two angles I'm trying to connect. So that's that idea of finding something in common. This angle ACB can both be an angle on a straight line and it could be part of three angles inside of a triangle. So the next statement that I'm going to write is my reason for this. So I would say angles on straight line add to 180 degrees. And now I'm going to look at the triangle part of this problem. So I know angle CAB and CBA plus angle ACB should add up to 180 degrees. So I could also write that as angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees inside of a triangle minus the two angles that are already in there, CAB minus angle CBA. And my reason for this would be angles in triangle sum to 180 degrees. So again, this angle is equal to 180 minus those two. Okay, now this is what I mean by two ways to say the same thing. I've got angle ACB and angle ACB and two ways to define them. So I know here angle ACB is 180 minus that, DCB. And in another case, I know that angle ACB is equal to 180 minus those two angles. So 
these two things, then, must be equal to each other, because they're both equal to angle ACB. So I can set them equal to each other. Therefore, 180 degrees minus angle DCB is equal to negative, sorry, 180 degrees minus angle CAB minus angle CBA. And I'm, again, I'm saying this, I don't have to give a reason for it, because this becomes algebra here, it should be straightforward. These are both equal to the same thing, so I can write them equal to each other. Next thing I might do is use a little bit of algebra. If I subtract 180 degrees from both sides, again, what you do to both sides keeps the equation balanced. That cancels the 180 on both sides. I'm now left with this equation. I notice that all, every single part of it has a negative. And I don't want the negative, so I'll times both sides by negative 1. And doing that, timesing everything by negative 1, leaves me with angle DCB is equal to angle CAB minus, oops, sorry, plus angle CBA. Canceling the negatives on every single thing there. I end up with the expression that they were looking for. The exterior angle is equal to the two interior opposite angles added up. So that's your proof. Now there's lots of different ways to go about doing proofs. Um, people will write them out in different orders or in different ways. Um, and that's okay as long as you're not making anything up using magic maths and being clear with your reasoning, you should be alright. Um, as an example here, if you want, feel free to stop the video now if you want, but just another way to look at this problem. I could go about it a different way. I could say something like, 180 degrees is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB, angles on a straight line. And then I could say 180 degrees is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB plus, ang oops, sorry, not DCB. CAB and angle CBA. Now those are both equal to 180. So same idea, I can say angle ACB plus DCB is equal to angle ACB plus angle CAB plus angle CBA setting these two equations equal to each other because they're both equal to 180. And here, I have angle ACB on both sides, so those can cancel, and I'm left with angle DCB is equal to angle CAB plus angle CBA. So, just write here, angles in triangle equal 180. So there's several ways to go about doing these problems, like I've said, and again, there's more than the two that I've shown here. So play with it, and as long as you can show all your working and not make anything up, you should be alright, and check with me if you want to make sure you've done one correctly.